the White Plague. That's what tuberculosis used to be called. From the early 1800s to the middle of this century, TB killed more people than any other infectious disease. With the development of effective drug treatments in the 1950s, however, everything changed. The fight against tuberculosis became so successful that by the late 1960s, TB transmission was no longer considered to be a significant health problem. It was even projected that TB would be eliminated from the U.S. by the year 2010. Unfortunately, in the mid-80s, tuberculosis began to make a comeback. This alarming resurgence of the deadly disease prompted increased awareness and efforts in the prevention and control of TB. While there have been recent successes treating tuberculosis, the number of TB cases still remains a significant health problem. Some areas of the country are seeing TB cases rise at a rate of over 28 percent a year. Across the country, about 10 to 15 million Americans now carry a non-infectious form of the disease known as latent TB. Each year, over 20,000 of these people develop new cases of active tuberculosis. And once a TB case becomes active, it can kill. On a worldwide scale, the problem is even worse. Tuberculosis is the leading cause of death by infectious disease, killing over three million people a year. It is estimated that one third of the world's population carries the TB bacteria. Each year, eight million of these people develop active cases of tuberculosis. As you can see, tuberculosis is still a major health problem, one that we have to pay attention to. To begin with, we need to understand why TB cases are on the rise. There are several reasons. The AIDS epidemic has made the problem worse. People with HIV have difficulty containing TB bacteria. This means that they are highly susceptible to developing active pulmonary tuberculosis.